Uh, Dan from Romania has a question for you, Jeff. Okay. Hi. A while back, Jeff got deep into grocery haul videos. Mm-hmm. Can he tell us what he thinks about whisper videos? Oh, like uh, ASMR I stuff? I don't, I don't know. Is don't that what know. he's talking about? Probably. Probably. Like, I, I've heard of ASMR stuff. I've never heard them called whisper videos. I don't know. I, I assume it's the same thing. I was hoping you guys would know what that is. Uh, I, I assume it's just ASMR videos, which I don't get any of the, any of the effects from it. Mm. And I think that some people that are way into it are probably way into it for disgusting reasons. Okay. Um, Is that supposed to be like hypnotism, basically? Or I've heard people talk it's about this. The, I think it's the idea that like if you hear people kind of whisper words like this and pronounce them, enunciate them very specifically, that certain parts of the sounds will cause tingles up your spine. And now I'm going to say this word over and over again. Papaya. 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 I don't think my spine is what's going on. That sounds like it's almost certainly complete bullshit. Uh, I mean, you know, like it's there's. I think there's something to like the whole like you hear things and you know, you know like you'll get a tingle up your spine sometimes. You know, you nails see, on a chalkboard effect. You know, when you, yeah. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is just a sound making it. Yeah, okay. Um, for stuff like that, yeah, but uh, you know, yeah, I get the impression that there are probably people doing sick stuff while listening to oh, like while watching that to get listening boners to video. And stuff? Yeah, yeah, okay, totally. Yeah, yeah. Weird shit on the internet. Uh, you get, yeah, I what? mean, hey, guess what? Yeah, yeah. Drew, there's weird shit on the internet. I don't. you look hard enough, you can find people mixing nacho cheese into white Russians. Ah, <laughs> gross. I know. I, I can't even pretend that that was good. Uh, it was in fact bad. I, I went back and watched it, and yeah, that looks real gross. Nacho cheese has one place, and it's on shitty tortilla chips, uh, and hot dogs, and pretzels, uh, and Oreos. Popcorn nope. and nope. most other things. But nope. Yeah. I don't want anything on. No, not popcorn. Yeah, fuck that. Nacho cheese. You never worked in a movie theater, did you? I did. You like did? like yeah. the gooey kind of nacho cheese on popcorn? Yeah, we had that uh, all the time. That's what they make the powdered nacho cheese for. What? No, you do the gooey kind. And then when you get cheese bored, corn. then when you get bored between rushes, when you're working the concession stand, mm. you just dip the corn popcorn in there and throw it up and see if you can stick it to the ceiling with the nacho cheese. Good. We had a little back office that I could just go lay on the ground in between sets. <laughs> I would sit in the freezer and just drink a bunch of Fruitopia. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. I need Sour Patch Kids. That's I never cool. got good at opening popcorn bags without sticking my hand in them. And so oh. I worked about four shifts at a movie theater before not working there okay. in that capacity anymore. It's tricky because you got to put your hand like pretty close to the opening. Yeah, well, you got to mm-hmm. grab around the opening and then the bottom of the bag where there's mm-hmm. a tab and then you pull. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I could never get that right. I would always pull the tab right off the bag. Because of my hulking strength. 